Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day and if not, I hope I can make it a little better. So about two months ago, I entered Emily Arts 10,000 YouTuber subscriber giveaway. Well done, Emily. <laughs> and lucky me, I won a prize, a scroller box. It is my first scroller box. So I thought it'd be fun to open Emily's letter and the scroller box and yeah, we could see what's inside and make some art with it. Let's get started. Okay, let's open the letter first. And I don't know if you can see, but this is some of Emily's washi paper. I'll link to her in my description box and maybe up here as well <laughs> depends how it works it feels like youtube changes every day <laughs> but anyway this is adorable <laughs> i'm gonna save some and put it in one of my diaries thank you thank you emily let's open up there's a card from emily saying thank you open it up ah <laughs> says congratulations on winning giveaway prize number one i hope you enjoy the scroller box best wishes em opened the tape already because she um sealed it up so it'd be safe in the post uh but should we have a look inside oh, 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 oh. okay so oh, this is so exciting i've watched so many people do this <laughs> now i get to do it oh gave it away so it's september 2001 it says, this bumps box is all about exploring your surroundings. Take inspiration from our featured artists, abstract and loose style uh -oh, of drawing to capture with great emotion the power and drama of landscape. Get stuck in and experiment with all the textures these supplies have to offer. Use washes, build up layers, make marks, see how the dark and light work to convey the feeling of your landscapes and create striking scenery. And the challenge, ooh, the challenge <laughs> is dramatic landscapes oh 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 <laughs> let's not look at that <laughs> so let's look what i've got first okay we have a paint on mixed media multi techniques pad in denim blue it's a5 it's 250 uh weight Tim pieces it's by Claire Fontaine. Here it is. Let's open it up. Ooh, that's quite nice. It's smoother than I expected. Mm, nice and thick. Oh, 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 it's rough on the other side. That's quite good. So depending on whether you like, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one's like, whereas this one's more sort of like. So if you like using a more textured layer, you can use this side, or if you like smooth, you can use this side. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, and this looks like art from a featured artist. And Ooh, that is very expressive. There we go. Now that makes more sense. <laughs> and here it is. Featured artist is Robert Dutton. Uh, I'll let you read all of this. Um, there's their social medias. There is the scroller zine, which we'll go through in a minute. And here is the stuff. Shall we open it up? See what else applies with that. <laughs> oh boy. I think it might be my worst nightmares. Come real. <laughs> I get a horrible feeling. <laughs> Oh, she included the scroller sticker. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> I will stick that with uh, the washi tape that you provided. Right, let's, oh boy. Let's have a look. <laughs> We've got an art graph. Wait, I'm gonna have to look on a bit of paper for this. Art graph, Taylor's chalk. Oh my, okay. I do actually, I've got some experience with Taylor's chalk because my mother used to make her own clothing. Uh, so that should be fun to try. It's basically just a big lob of chalk. We have 
a Derwent blender stump. I have never used a blender stump before, so that'll be interesting. We have... What is this? It's made in Germany. Pit! Ooh, a pit pencil! We've got multiple pit pencils, I think, here. I'll read these out in a minute. So we've got a 6B, a 14B! Wow, that should be dark. And a gold father, also by Faber Castell Pencil, and this one's in white. Oh, I can't wait to swatch these. I'll read out more about these uh, items later. And this is, ch oh no, <laughs> charcoal blocks. Oh, we're going to get messy. Oh, it's been sellotaped down, so I'm just going to get my scissors and open it up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, charcoal blocks <laughs> in light, medium, and dark, and in something that I can't read medium and hard. These are graphite and these are charcoal. Well, you know what? I suppose we better get swatching, eh? So, first of all, we have. avoid it no longer. It's time to get messy fingers. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, everybody. It's not too bad. So this is light. Let's... Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, oh no, there's gonna be dust everywhere. <laughs> so that is light. I'm just gonna blow off the excess. <coughs> okay, so that's just that. And I guess I can use the, the blendy stub with it. I've, I've seen other people use these, but I've never used them myself. So let's uh, see what that does. Okay, so that does that. And looks like that. Whatever that is. Oh, I'm so out of my element. <laughs> Emily, why? <laughs> okay, next we've got medium. Oh, it's definitely a darker colour. Let's get some blendy in. Okay, okay, don't hate it, don't hate it. So that's that. And then let's go with the dark. I'm assuming the dark is just gonna be like a classic charcoal colour. Yeah. See, I did used to work with charcoal when I did life drawing classes, so I know <laughs> I know how messy it gets. <laughs> Might have to get a tissue in a minute. Okay. Oh <laughs> Wave the bits away. Oops. <laughs> and blendy blendy time. Blendy, 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 blendy. So there you go, very nice there. That's, yeah, okay, I, d I don't hate the blendy stump. Okay, and then underneath that, we have uh, the Derwent Graphite. So I'm guessing that it's going to be like what you get inside a pencil. But without the wood. And in that we have ah soft. So I'm assuming that's gonna be like a B. Medium. Which I'm assuming is gonna be like a HB. And hard. Which I'm assuming is going to be like just a H. So let's go in with the the soft first. I love how shiny it is. I always love that about pencil lead. <laughs> it's like, it's metallic. Okay. Oh, this is weird. It's a bit scratchy. 
Not sure how I feel about the scratchiness. I don't know if you can see the scratchiness. Scratch, 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 scratch. It feels scratchy going on. Uh, so that's that. That's the soft one. I'll be honest, I didn't feel very soft. Like I said, it felt quite scratchy. Uh, well, let's see how the blending stamp goes with that. Oh, okay. I mean, you get less dust with the graphite ones. That sort of smooths it out a bit. It takes the shininess off. I do quite like the shininess. But I appreciate <laughs> you want to be able to see your art rather than it be shiny. Okay, so let's go in with medium. Let's see. Oh, that feels scratchy as well. Maybe I'm like doing this wrong. I don't know. Oh, can you see the scratches? I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, I, I, it feels weird using this. It feels like using like a really hard, uncooperative crayon. <laughs> okay, well let's blend that. I mean, it blends nicely with your blendy stump. I can see why people like the blendy stump. Because I've never really understood the blendy stump, but I, from using it, I can see why people like it with a uh, this kind of graphite anyway okay and his hard i imagine if these two were kind of scratchy this one's going to be really scratchy oh well you know what it isn't any scratchier but it is definitely harder to get <laughs> get color off it <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave that there excuse me a blendy blend i mean as far as i can tell it blends just as well as the uh the soft and the medium if anything it seems to be blending easier uh, my impressions anyway with these is i quite like the charcoals um it's quite nice to have a range of uh shades i go from gray to black uh not such a fan of the graphite blocks so I guess in theory you get more coverage than if you used a pencil, uh, but I think I like the control of using a pencil better. But anyway, let's keep testing stuff. So next we have the Faber, Faber Castell Pit. We like a pit marker, so are we going to like a pit graphite? Matte, so not shiny. <laughs> Pencil. And the one I'm writing with is a 6B. So let's see if I can remember any of my pencil skills from when I was at school. Let's see how hard it'll go. Hard. Ooh, it goes on quite smoothly. Okay, and then let's the gradient. I think it's quite soft. I like how soft that is. And you know what? I would leave it like that, but I know like um you some of you guys uh like to use a blendy stump even on this kind of pencil. Um so though I wouldn't normally I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay yeah. Yeah it just it does that. So I guess like if you're not confident in your ability to blend things in with hand pressure, you could use the blendy stump instead. Uh, I, I kind of prefer the slight graininess of using my own hand pressure, but it's interesting to try it myself after seeing so many people do it on YouTube videos. And this is 14B. That's crazy. I've never <laughs> never come across one of these bad boys before. So let's see how hard 14B can go. Oh, that's dark. That's dark. I love it. That's dark. <laughs> let's see how smooth you are. 
Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. I mean, they say matte, but I am still getting like the kind of lead, pencil lead graphite metallic shine off it. Um, so I'm not quite sure what they do mean by matte. But anyway, that's that. You can see that it's darker. And we'll use the blendy stump on it again. Yeah, you know, sure. <laughs> I... I, I would rather just blend using the pencil, but it's an option. It's an option. I'm going to have to work out how to... How do you... Do you peel a layer off? Is that how you do it? Uh, I'm, there'll be instructions, I'm sure. That's the pit pencils. Next, we have the gold Faber white pencil. So what's right? Faber. Gold Faber, excuse me. The gold... Oh, this is nice. The gold. I love this. I love how it pops. Faber white. Colour. Pencil. Okay. Let's give it a little gradient test. Oh, goes on nice and thick. We approve. Already it's better than the Faber Castell <laughs> white pit markers. Um, burn! <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. It looks so good on the blue, don't you think? Okay. use the blendy tool this one side's dirty so we'll use this side for white and yeah <laughs> doesn't really work on colored pencils eh? uh. i mean it's kind of i don't know if it's just like s scratching the surface of the paper or if it is actually moving any pigment around but i'm gonna say it's just scratching the surface of the paper so i'm fine with that actually <laughs> And the final item we have is a Verico Art Aura Taylor's Chalk. There's no apostrophe which was really bothering me here. <laughs> I feel like it should only be here or here. <laughs> right now it's like just multiple Taylors and Chalk. <laughs> open you up oh it says it's water soluble as well i'm probably not gonna get water so oh, i can though can't i oh do i have to make things water soluble do i have to it's just not messy enough guys because this is about to get messy <laughs> it feels wet why does it feel wet okay okay and let's it goes down. And you get a cool chalky gradient happening. And cool. I haven't left much room to do this, but you could excuse me. You could do this too. For lots of coverage. <laughs> oh it's sticky, right? <laughs> it's gonna go back in here. Because we've done it with everything else. Look at that. Look what a mess. <laughs> Let's do some blending. Mm -hmm. well, this doesn't blend. I don't want to blend too well either. Interesting. I don't know if I suddenly lost my ability to blend. I suppose I need to make it wet now that we've discovered it's water soluble, don't I? Found a brush with some water in. Let's get water soluble. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. And yes! Oh, actually, you know what? That's quite nice. I wonder what it's like when it dries though. If it just like goes all chalky again and flops off. 
That's quite nice though. I mean, it's. I don't hate it. I am gonna be curious to know what it's like when it dries though. Future Rachel here, and this is what the chalk looks like when it's dry. Give it a rub. And whoops. <laughs> A little bit comes off on your finger but not much however one thing i will point out is hmm, the paper doesn't seem to like getting wet so i would use water with caution i guess whilst we're here we can see water affects the ink in any way oh it's still got wet in, wet in it so it doesn't really affect hello norma doesn't really affect the charcoal. Doesn't really affect the pencils. In a bit, Norma. In a bit. Ow, Norma. <laughs> and I'm assuming it's not going to affect the white pencil either. But there we go. So it's just this Taylor's chalk that's water soluble. The more you know. So. I had a challenge, traumatic landscapes. We better do one, hey? My previous video featured a trip to Reculva in the fog, something I thought would be perfect to recreate using this box. Okay guys, so here's the blurb on all the art supplies that I used that you can read from the magazine. First of all, I was using the Derwent charcoal and graphite blocks, but for this picture, I just used the charcoal because I didn't feel the graphite blocks very much. It says, the Derwent charcoal and graphite blocks are chunky sticks made from a perfected blend of charcoal and graphite. They are great for creating bold, dramatic sketches and atmospheric line drawings. They're perfect for seamless blending, mixing and layering, and are also water soluble too. Hmm, I didn't find that so much. Let me know how you found it. Add a little water to create a subtle wash. Experiment with using the side of the block to create wide sweeping strokes and the ends, which can create fine and more precise lines. And I'm really enjoying using them. I think because they're most similar to the kind of charcoal I'm used to using, like back in the day when I did a lot of charcoal drawing. Next, we have the Virico Art Graph Taylor's Chalk. You may have seen Taylor's Chalk for use of fabric, but Verico have used this familiar shape to create an artist chalk block. Oh, so it's specifically artist chalk. I wonder if there's actually a difference. This chalk pairs beautifully with charcoal and graphite as it layers and blends so easily and it's water soluble so you can create soft washes of white. And uh, I think you saw me have a go at that and I'm going to use it further on in this art piece so keep an eye out for that. Uh, another item I used was the gold faber or gold faber white color pencil. This gold faber slash faber colored pencil is created with high quality materials to provide maximum break resistance. Ooh, so you can drop it out a window and it won't break. <laughs> Excellent light fastness and outstanding color brilliance. It has a wonderful creamy consistency with a soft but sturdy lead, as well as a brilliant pigmentation that layers very well on multimedia projects. And actually, uh, I am finding it very good to use on this project. Next, we have the Derwent Blending Stump. A very contentious item, I think, between artists. This paper stump is a handy tool for blending and smudging dusty media like charcoal, graphite or pastel. It's great for taking the fuss and mess out of using your fingers when it wears down. You can easily clean and repoint it with soft sandpaper. Okay, and the paper I was using was the Clairefontaine Paint On mm, Denim A5 pa Pad. A new denim coloured paper that's a natural shade of mineral blue-grey and a great mid-tone starting point. This paper can be paired with all kinds of media including charcoal, graphite, pencils, pastels, acrylic, watercolour and even oil paints. I would question that because as you could see when I did my swatching, uh, a layer of water did start to make it buckle so I would be gentle with how much water you used. It is an ultimate mixed media option for any artist. And now the items I didn't use, which were the Faber-Castell Pit Graphite Matte Pencils. Not because I didn't like them, just um, I found them a bit tight for something that I wanted to be quite sweeping and expressive. 
Okay, so these pit graphite matte pencils are a revolution for graphite drawing. These innovative pencils are specifically developed to reduce light reflections on the paper for a perfect matte finish to your designs. They're extra break resistant and have the environment in mind with carbon neutral production. Yay! Word from certified sustainable forestry and finished with environmentally friendly water based varnish. So there we have it the dramatic landscape of Recolver. Thank you for making it to the end of the video with me. I'd love to know what your favourite part was, if you could leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know if you've tried any of these materials before, uh, if you have any recommendations, because honestly, I haven't done a landscape like this in decades, um, and it was kind of fun. And maybe I'll try it again, so you know, let me know if you'd like to see that too. If you could like, subscribe, turn on all notifications, share this video, and leave a comment in the description below, that would all be amazing. You can follow me at Enchanted Violin on Instagram and TikTok, links will be in the description box below, as well as links to my online comic companions. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Ooh.